What's good YouTube, DG Whipster back in with another video. As you guys can see, I live at a new place now. Check it out, this is like a, a 70s neighborhood in like the middle of Vegas and Spring Valley. It's pretty cool. Um, we just moved in like two days ago, so things are obviously not ready. Uh, I got a lot of trash. I just got my stuff kind of everywhere. Pretty much everything in this garage is mine. So, but we got plenty of storage up here, which is really cool. Uh, things we can store. Uh, we we kind of need a step stool to get up to it, but we got plenty of space. By the way, look at how bad the air quality is right now. There's some wildfires going on in Northern Cali and they're blowing down here to Vegas. And the air quality is just awful right now. I cannot believe this. But yeah, just wanted to update you guys what's going on with the G. I have not been able to get a tuner. I reached out to Saul Nismo, I have no reply from him. Uh, I reached out to Concept Z, no reply. So I've literally been trying to reach out out of state, haven't been having luck. Uh, I did reach Turbo Lab. They are supposed to help me in a couple weeks, but I do gotta drive five hours to Utah. And I either gotta debate driving this thing and just limping it and not hitting boost or like towing it, which would be a little expensive because it's kind of far. So, but in the meanwhile, I do have a little issue. The car and I was actually over boosting, which it's good and not good. It's good because that means we're making boosts pretty good. Uh, I don't have any major leaks or nothing like that. That's good. However, you don't want to over boost too hard because then your engine's just going to pop. If it, if it boosts like 30 PSI and it's a stock motor, it's going to blow up. So can't have that. I don't know why it's doing that because I hooked everything up correct to what Precision Turbo wanted me to do with the boost controller. I might hook it up to just the spring and bypass the boost controller for now and see if the wastegate is just working properly. It should be, it's a really nice wastegate. So uh, I was trying to not have wastegate issues. I don't wanna have wastegate issues, but I don't think that's the problem. It's probably something to do with the vacuum lines or something, so. The interior is still a mess. I have a bunch of parts and shit lying around, but I have the boost controller mounted right here. I am gonna, again, like disconnect it and just hook it up to the, and just hook the vacuum line up to the spring directly to the turbo that way i'll bypass this just in case it is this this is bad or not working or something um and then we're gonna see if it's gonna over boost it should not be going over like six psi maybe seven but it should not be going past that and it is i hit like 14 psi on accident which that's not good so don't want to pop it before i even get tuned so that would suck so let's go ahead and jack the car we do some vacuum lines and then let's see what happens all right let's see if it's gonna over boost it's really hard holding the camera and doing this, but. Huh, it went to seven still, it shouldn't have. Let's see. I think it just popped a coupler off and that was really spooky but i low-key thought the engine blew up uh but obviously everything's fine pretty sure our coupler just popped off so let's go see what happened here well i think i found the problem here that's actually the exact one i thought popped off uh that makes sense uh this is oh it is flared and still popped off that's crazy i thought i flared it hey i need to flare it a little more um yeah, that shit popped straight off, no issue. Could be the clamp wasn't tight enough as well. So I'll reinstall it, or I'll take this out, uh, flare it a little more so it has less chance of slipping off, make sure it's real tight, and uh, we'll try again. All right, so I went ahead off camera, moved the scavenge pump. Uh, you can still like see it, but it's not like just, my second exhaust tip is a scavenge pump, so uh, I do want to adjust it a little bit. It's kind of at an angle. I just didn't want it to be all ugly out here, um, so it looks a little better now. I went ahead and popped the coupler back in. That was no issue. I made sure the pipe was flared. I think the clamp was just loose because when I went to like move the clamp, I was able to move it by hand, and that means it's pretty loose. So I guess that was the one thing I forgot to tighten, which I'm pretty surprised that it, I'm pretty surprised it didn't pop off earlier just because I was driving like that and hitting boost a lot before and it never popped off until now. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're not over boosting and then we'll pretty much be tune ready. Outside of an oil leak, I still need to fix uh, my upper oil pan is leaking, which is like the worst thing possible. I'm gonna do that soon. I'm uh, pretty much ready to go on the dyno, so. So I do have a weird issue with 
I feel like the boost pressure is building up in the brake booster because when I'm in full boost and then I immediately try to hit brakes, uh, brakes don't really work that good. Um, so it's kind of scary. Um, I don't know what's going on. I did not tap into the brake booster or anything. So I guess just the boost is just going into the brake booster somehow. Maybe I can input a check valve or something to prevent that from happening. Cause obviously if that happens at the wrong time, I need to stop immediately. Um, I'm gonna be kind of screwed and it'll be my fault. And I'd ruin my car that I spent a lot of money on. So I don't wanna do that. Okay, so this needs work. Maybe it's a good reason I could not make the dyno when I was trying to. Um, it's still over boosting. I'm for sure that off of spring pressure, it should be opening at like six PSI, maybe seven with like in the inaccuracy of the gauge or just like, I don't know, boost spike, I, I don't know. Or ju just a few other variables. It should not be uh, going past seven pounds of boost right now with the 5.6 PSI spring in the wastegate. Doing some research, I think I understand the problem. Um, so I actually use like a cheap eBay wastegate flange and it's at a 90 degree angle. Uh, so unfortunately what this means is flow cannot really go into the wastegate at a 90 degree angle. Like it'll get some flow, but not like a lot to really like open it enough. Uh, so the wastegate probably is just not opening enough to vent boost. And uh, that's why we're over boosting because I'm, I'm almost certain the wastegate works. It's a $200 precision turbo wastegate. Uh, there's no reason I should have any issues with it. In fact, I bought, I spent the money on a nice wastegate to avoid this issue, but I didn't think of the positioning of the wastegate, um, which that's just on me. Uh, I just need to be smarter about things. Uh, so I'll probably have to do is go to the exhaust shop and have them have them weld up a flange to where I can have that wastegate coming at a decent angle where it's catching the exhaust flow. So it can actually open up and vent out the exhaust pressure to stop the turbo from building up any more boost. Obviously this is not, I do not want to over boost this car on a regular because it will blow up. It's really not supposed to take more than like eight, maybe 10 PSI before reliability and the chances of you sending a rod to God goes up. So let's not do that just yet. Let me enjoy the car first before it blows up. I know it's gonna blow up. I just wanna enjoy the car for a little bit before it does that. Cause again, I do wanna rebuild the engine and then do the manual swap probably as well, or throw a VR30 in there, uh, we'll see. Um, but I do wanna make big power at some point, but right now I do wanna enjoy the stock VQ as I have it and really um, make the most out of it while I do have it. It is a pretty cheap engine. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, sorry we can't get too much progress. I am having issues getting a tuner, over boosting, et cetera, et cetera. And I have a big oil pan leak I need to fix, my upper oil pan. So yeah, I gotta drop everything. But either way, it's all good. We are going to get it done at some point. Thank you guys for following. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that regularly follow my channel. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm almost at 2K subscribers, by the way. So please subscribe if you haven't. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time.